Hey guys, this is Brad from Critical Hit Reviews. And there's no camera today, so you just get me. You just get Brad all to yourself today. I am making a top five list. Well, it's not top five. It's all over the place. It's not really in any order. Of things that I want the new Sony console, the PlayStation 4, to do. And it's all over the place. You know, just take a look at it. Watch the video. Comment and subscribe. And here we go go so let's make it crazy let's start off with something that no one's ever thought of for a playstation console you know people something that people will be like wow that list that brad made on critical hit review is so blow minding yeah blow minding patented by brad sanders don't ever use that again um is games i want the playstation 4 to have amazing amazing new games and not just the, the same old stuff i want my uncharted and i want my infant you know infamouses and all that good stuff but i want new stuff i want to see the last guardian like everybody else does because i still don't know what it is i just think it's the thing about a boy and a griffin that's all i know and i think that's all anybody knows I would love to see some new IPs for the new Sony, Sony console. Uh, the Knack game that they kind of announced during the press conference looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty cool. And that's the kind of stuff I want to see. I want to see new stuff. And Watch Dogs, you've already worn my heart. So come out on PlayStation 4 exclusively and I'll love you for life. So number two on the list is a revamping of the PlayStation Network. PlayStation Network has got some good things. You got free online and you got some cool exclusives, but besides that, it needs some tweaking. The download speeds are atrocious. I mean, it's horrible to download a game on PlayStation Network. I just downloaded Journey for our second latest review. Check it out. And it took me a good long time to download that game. And you have to download it, then you have to install it, and then you gotta patch it. So you're looking at a three hour time just to put this game on. Xbox gets it done. Seconds, you're, you know, just waiting there and you'll see a little ding and then the game is ready to go. Another thing I think uh, PlayStation could improve upon on their online is definitely making people easier or making it easier for people to connect to each other and talk to each other. They make it so hard. I have played so many games on PlayStation online and I never have talked to anybody because I don't have a mic for it. And then nobody else has a mic for it and nobody else wants to buy a mic for it. So Sony, give us a mic, let us talk to people and let us talk in different games. That's all you need to do! So number three is a simple one, everyone. Make the PS4 affordable. I wanted to say PS3 because I'm thinking about PS3, but I'm talking about PS4. Make the PS4 affordable. Make it not $600 like you probably want to and it probably costs to actually make the system. Make it $300. Make it $400. We can afford that. You know, I can afford that. When the first PlayStation or the PlayStation 3 came out first, I couldn't afford it. I was a PlayStation kid. I liked Nintendo, uh, but I already had the Nintendo console and I wanted a PS3 when it came out. I wanted it so bad, but I couldn't have it because why? Because it was $600. So I had to wait till they got the slum out and that's when they had already gotten the good games out. So that actually worked out in my favor. But this time, Sony, make it cheap. Do that contract thing that everyone's talking about. You know, let people join your network or your thing for like two years and you give them the console for $100. That'd be amazing for some people. For me, make it $300 to $400 and I will buy it right off the bat. So number four is regarding our favorite little handheld Sony system, the Vita. During the press conference, Sony announced that they are going to support this thing like crazy for the PlayStation 4. You're going to be able to play your PlayStation 4 games on there, your PlayStation 3 games on there, your PlayStation 1 and 2, all backwards compatible because they're going to be able to stream it. And that sounds amazing, Sony! So don't screw it up, please, 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 please don't screw it up. Me and Cameron both bought Vitas on day one for 350, 400, whatever how much it was. It was too much to pay for the thing, but we bought it because we were like, we trust Sony to do this with the console. We trust them and they let us down. There's no games, there's nothing to do with it. It just sits on my bookshelf lonely looking at me like I should play with it, but I know I don't want to play my Vita because there's nothing to play. So Sony, make the Vita important for the PlayStation 4. Make it so we all love it and we all are awesome. And then I can say, I owned a PlayStation Vita before it was cool. Which was a long time before it was cool. Number five is plain and simple, Sony. This is a marketing strategy. This is not something that I could say, oh, you know, do games, do games better. Do price, do price better. This is something that I want you to put on TVs to help sell the PS4. And it's very simple. And it's name or his name. 
is Kevin Butler. Bring Kevin Butler back for the selling of the PlayStation 4. Everybody loves Kevin Butler. If you go online on YouTube right now and search Kevin Butler, you will find all the commercials for the PS3 and you will laugh. You will laugh for a good 10 minutes because, I mean, it's only like 30 second commercials, but these commercials were hilarious. You know, the one where he's talking to the lady and, you know, the dad's like, I need to make this thing for my kids, you know, I, I hope they like me more. And he's like hitting on the mom the entire time. Dear God, Sony, that was perfect. Bring Kevin Butler back for PlayStation 4 and thank me later. What is this, 1992? I know. I mean, if you're not on the PlayStation Network, you can't get PlayStation Home, PS1 Classics, you can't download movies, TV shows. I know. It's like having a bathroom without an aromatherapy candle. Still gets the job done, but come on. He hates candles, too. Come on. I know, right? What's wrong with him? So guys, that's my top five things I want to see Sony do in the next generation, or at least the top five things that I want to see in the PlayStation 4 that's going to make that $300, $400, or even $100 just fly out of my wallet, go to the Sony headquarters, land in Kevin Butler's hand, and then just make everything in the world perfect. So if you like this video, which I really hope you did and I think Cameron would hope you did, take a look at some of our other videos. Right here we have our Metal Gear Rising uh, review that we just did recently and then we also have our Journey review that we just recently put out because we just recently played Journey because we're really slow on figuring out that games are awesome on the PlayStation Network. Our next videos are going to be two reviews. We're going to get a review up for the new Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm game, which I'm really looking forward to, and also the new Tomb Raider game, which we've never played a Tomb Raider, but we hear she's a very attractive woman, so we're going to play that as much as we can. So definitely check back in the next couple weeks, guys, and we'll get those to you. So Critical Hit Review is out of here. Every gamer is a true gamer, everyone.